Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with create a tag for a team action which is part of Microsoft Teams action. And also we have created a tag with the name of developer in the particular team called Conteso. And also we have added users for the particular tag for the developer. Now in this session, we will learn how to add a member to an existing tag by using add a member to a tag action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to add users to an existing tags. Now, if you see the parameters over here, the first parameter is the teams. Once you have connected to the particular Microsoft Teams by using connection references, we'll get all the teams which are available in Microsoft Teams. Or you can add the team by using the variable. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on drop down to get all the existing teams which are available in Microsoft Teams. There you can see I'm having build team, Conteso and onboarding. In our previous tutorial, we have created a tag with the name of developer in Conteso team. Right? I'm going to use the same team. Now, the second parameter is the tag ID. So the tag ID, if you observe in our Conteso, we have created the tag with the name of developer. Right? We can give the tag ID or you can go ahead and you can select the drop down to get the existing tags. Now, let me click on drop down. There you can see in our previous tutorial, we have created the tag with the name of developer. Right? I'm going to select that. Now, the third parameter is the user ID. Now, if you observe in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to get the user ID by using Microsoft Intro Admin Center. Now, I'm going to add another member that is Megan Bowney with her user ID. Now, I'm going to copy her user ID and then I'm going to give that user ID. All right. Now, at the advanced, we are having only timeout. All right. Now let me click on save. Before going to run this flow, I'm going to disable the action that is create a tag for a team. And then let me go to the Microsoft Teams. There you can see under the Conteso team, under the tags, I'm having only one tag that is developer, right? And the members you can see over here, I'm having two members right now, that is Isha Langer and the another one is Perti Fernandez, right? Whenever I'm going to run this flow, I'm going to add the third member that is Megan Bowney with her user ID for the particular tag that is developer. All right. Now let me run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is trying to add a new member to the existing tag that is developers by using an action called add a member to a tag action. Flow has executed successfully and the output from the add a member to a tag we are having the flow variables as the output that is add members to tags response. The output has been stored inside the variable. Let me double click on that. Now, if you see inside my variable, we are having the property that is O data context, right? Another one is the ID and the display name, nothing but as the third member we have added that is Megan bound, right? So that member name has been displayed over here and her tenant ID and then user ID over here you can see that is the user ID which I have given to add a member to the existing tag. All right, let me click on close. Now let me switch to Microsoft Teams. Now if you observe, I have not yet refreshed this Conteso team. Let me go ahead and let me refresh it by selecting Conteso and then I'm going to click on manage tags once again. There you can see I'm having other tags as one. Let me expand that. Previously, under the tag that is developer tag, we had only two members. But right now, we are having three members because we have added another member that is Megan Bowen. Right? Let me click on that to see the members over here in the particular tag that is developer tag. Now, if you see over here, the third member has been added for the particular tag that is Megan Bowen for the existing tag that is developer. All right. I hope you understand how to add a new member to an existing tags by using an action called add a member to a tag as part of this tutorial.